Welcome to the LumaCast, your premier gateway to the universe of limitless photo editing. Dive into the galaxy of Luminar software and the dynamic world of AI photo editing. Join us weekly for a burst of creativity and the drive to transform your photos with confidence and skill. Broadcasting directly from Clever Photographer Headquarters, it's time to welcome your hosts, Jacob Bors and Holly Linton. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Lumicast, your favorite podcast focusing on photography, photo editing, and Luminar Neo. And Luminar Neo is what we're going to be talking about today because we're doing this special episode focusing on the recently announced Luminar Neo's fall upgrade. Yes, Skylum every year announces this new upgrade, which generally brings new features and tools. And today we're going to be talking about what we know as of now. Now, normally, I am here with Holly, who is my great friend and also incredible photographer. But you may know or you may not, Holly is actually away sailing in the heart of Caribbean, which is fine. <laughs> we we have the best. And of course, we can't wait to hear her and see her back again next week on Friday. So today for this special episode, it's just me. So what we're going to do, we're going to go through the important points of the upgrade, everything I know so far. And yeah, I'm just going to have a little bit of fun with it. Okay, so if you're ready, well, probably the first and most important part is that the upgrade is scheduled for November 2025. Yes, in few months. Today is 15th of August. So what we have another September, October, and then we'll see when in November. So I would say about three months. Well, that's fine. We can still get excited about it. And to do that, well, we have to go through the list. So the first part is following something that Skylum is calling Luminar Ecosystem Phase 1. Why? Well, we know that Luminar Neo is available on Windows and Apple machines. And you may also heard about Luminar Mobile. Now, that has been available on iPhone and iPad for quite some time. And from recent times, I think from about May and June, it's now also available on Android. Android as well as the Chromebooks. So that's a whole variety of different devices. And that is calling for the possibility of cross-device editing. And that's what we're getting. So the first point is called cross-device mobile to desktop editing. What it's about? Well, very simple scenario. Imagine that you went to photograph something and then you're coming back on a train. So you do a little bit of editing on your mobile phone. By the time you come back home, you want to continue on your desktop. And now you will be able to do all of this real time between the devices. So imagine you start the edit, then you come to your desktop. The picture is there with all the adjustments and you just continue from there. At the moment, as I mentioned, it's going to be the mobile to desktop not the other way around, but that's fine because generally that's how it's done anyway. How is it done? Well, it's all made through cloud-based infrastructure. What a word, right? Anyway, this will help us with lots of new tasks. And this is first one of them, the cross-device mobile to desktop editing. Because yes, you're editing your image, it gets uploaded to the cloud. And when you get to desktop, it's already there. Now, when it comes to the cloud-based infrastructure, that will actually help us with the next feature. Now, at the moment, this is called Web Galleries. And the way I think it's going to work is that you will take your edited images and you will be able to share them as something like an online gallery, web online gallery. It will be a web page, which you will be able to share with your friends, maybe clients, and as I like to say, the rest of the world. And again, this is a great thing because talking about what to do with the images once you edit them, something that we have covered a few episodes ago, this is great addition that you don't need any website or design skills. You can just share your images online and have this like little, little website or at least a web page. So the web galleries is a second thing covering under this Luminar ecosystem and using the cloud-based infrastructure. Exciting, right? I'm really excited. 
Anyway, moving on to the new features, which I'm guessing is the main reason why you're here and what you want to hear. So what are we going to see? Well, we should do drum rolls because the first one is epic. Now, me personally, I'm a massive fan of vintage and retro photos, old black and white photos and all sorts of photos. But of course, throughout the time, they get damaged, right? You get scratches and dust and, you know, the frames around, they get damaged. Well, we're getting restoration tool now, built in Luminar Neo. In fact, in past, I have made videos on my YouTube channel at Clever Photographer showing you how you can restore images, but you had to use an additional plugins and software and pages and subscriptions and so on. So it wasn't much fun. But now you will be able to do all of this in Luminar Neo. Now, what do we know so far? Based on the description, you should be able to use one leak revival of old damaged photos. So what I've seen so far, well, you will be able to restore scratches, faded colors, and also maybe fix the frame around. Now, if you will want to, looking at the example photos, you will also be able to colorize the photos, which I think is really cool. So the restoration tool, brilliant. I can't wait to see it. I really hope that I will get a hold of the beta version soon so I can share it with you so you know what to look forward to. So that's the first one. Second one, the AI assistant. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get to know much about it. All we know that it will analyze the photos and suggest optimal edits. Following more of the text there, it says that it will be able to help beginners as well as pros with using tools like DeveloPro, Curves, Color Harmony, and so on. So until we have more information, I can't tell you much about it, but that's a second part of the new features. And then third, point on our list here is the new volume tool. So we have a restoration tool and volume tool. Now the volume tool straight from the beginning will be available for everyone. So everybody will be able to use it. And what it's going to do? Well, according to the description, it will be able to add depth and dimension. How it's going to do it? Well, it's going to enhance light and shadow. And looking at the text, it should work a little bit like an automatic dodge and burn with maybe one click or one slider alternative. Now, this would be really cool. In my imagination, now I haven't seen any of these tools, but in my imagination, I'm thinking maybe like an enhanced AI tool where we have the accent AI, then we have the sky AI, and under it, the volume tool. I think these three sliders would really help us to quickly edit our images and create something really special very fast. So let's wait and see how it's going to work, but I think this is really a good one. Okay, so before we look at the way to get the upgrade, let's go through the list one more time. So one more time, full upgrade is scheduled for November this year. Now we have a two features under the Luminar ecosystem, the phase number one, where we have the cross device mobile to desktop editing. So again, real time sync between the devices. You start on your mobile device and finish on your desktop. Building on that, the web galleries, where you will be able to turn your edited photos into the personalized online galleries, which will be really cool. No need for any website or design skills, just maybe a few clicks and you can share it with the rest of the world. Talking about new features, one more time, the restoration tool, really cool, removing scratches, faded colors, colorizing images, all that fun stuff. AI assistant, which will be able to help you to analyze your photos and suggest optimal edits. And the volume tool, which will work a little bit like automatic dodge and burn by adding depth and dimension using light and shadow enhancement. Of course, like every year, Skyloom also offer a special promotion on how to get all these features. They call it early bird. And what I'm going to say now is only valid until the 1st of August. So all these prices and offers only until 1st of August. Now let's go through it quickly, but probably the easiest way to check your specific price is just to follow the link under this podcast. Just follow it, log in with your profile and you will be able to see the best price. But basically, when it comes to new users, they have a two promotions. You can buy something that is called cross device perpetual license. Now this will give you Luminar Neo and Luminar Mobile. You can get both of them for $139. Or so you can go crazy for the max perpetual license. And this will give you Luminar Neo, Luminar Mobile, and the Epic Creative Library. The Creative Library includes over 1,000 elements, everything from your overlays, skies, presets, 
courses and tutorials and so on. So you can get that for $159. So this is for new users. If you are existing user, now the easiest is, of course, the Luminar Neo subscription, because you don't have to worry about anything I'm going to say. You can go straight in because you will get everything I just mentioned as a part of your subscription. But if you are a lifetime user, there are two differences. If you just bought it, means if you bought Luminar Neo between 1st of June and 15th of August, so very recently, you will get a free 2025 upgrade pass. So a little bit similar to the subscribers for next year. You don't have to worry about anything. You will get all these new updates, narrative tools and all of that. Now, if you have bought Luminar Neo, the lifetime license, before the 1st of June, you will have to get the upgrade pass. Now, there are two versions of it this year. One is the simple upgrade pass 2025-26, which will give you all the new tools and generative tools. You know, those AI tools which use the cloud for the editing. You can get this for $49. Or you can go crazy for additional $20 and get the ecosystem pass. Now, this will give you a whole list of things. Generative tools, new tools, mobile, of course, Luminar, mobile, web galleries, cross device editing, and so on. And this, as I mentioned, for $69. But really, to make it easier, just follow the link in the description of this video, check out the price there, and get it before the early bird pricing runs out on 31st of August. Okay, so there you have it. So now you know what's inside of the full upgrade. Also, you know how to get it, unless you're already a subscriber, so you're getting it anyway. And we can get together and get excited because this will be really cool. I can't wait to see all of these new features and tools in action. For today, folks, thank you very much for joining me. I know it was a little bit shorter episode, but I hope that I was able to cover everything that you were interested in. Guys, have a great weekend and I will speak to you again next week on Friday, this time with Holly. Have a great weekend, everyone. And that's a wrap. Now, there's only three things left to do. Subscribe to this podcast so you never miss a future episode. Visit our website at cleverphotographer.com slash Lumacast to see what we have in store next. And stay creative and keep editing your photos no matter what anyone says. <laughs>